Hi, this is uh, Araj from Android Cowboy, uh, and today I want to show you guys how to unroot your Kindle Fire. Now, there may be different reasons uh, why you need to do this. Uh, maybe that you might want to be selling your tablet, uh, you may be giving it to somebody else, or, or maybe you need service and so you need to unroot it and take it back to the factory. So, there may be different reasons, but uh, for whatever we're going to show you how to do this, it's pretty easy to do actually. Uh, so, I'm going to show you guys this is my tablet, it is rooted. Um, as you can see here from the apps, I have the super user app here. I'll even show you guys if I go to e ES File Explorer and I go to the Root Explorer, I can click that. As you can see, I get the options uh, because I do have root access. If I didn't, I would not be able to have this, this option. So I am rooted. And so you're going to use the same software program that you use to root to unroot it. So it's really, it's really easy, uh, simple to go. So connect your uh, Kindle to your computer via USB. So I have it connected here. And you're going to run that uh, program. And that's the same bin for our wire that you use to to root your tablet uh, it's the same program and here um, you're going to let me just try to focus here you're going to now uh, choose uh, you have the uh, before you choose option one to root now you want to choose X which is to unroot so you hit the X unroot button it's going to ask you do you really want to do that you're going to hit yes um, hit enter and it's going to run the program um, and that should do it. Uh, you should be you should be uh, unrooted now. So let's let's check that out again. See what happens here. Um, if we go into ES File Explorer now and go to Root Explorer, you can see it says uh, "Sorry, test failed." Okay. So as you can see, we lost uh, root access, or previously we were able to do that. And if you go under the app section. Uh, you still have the super user app, but it's actually it's actually not uh, it's actually not working. So uh, you can actually just remove remove that. But as you can see, when you go here uh, under Root Explorer, it actually fails. So it does not allow you to to load that. That's because uh, the files have been removed. Now you probably should just reboot the device and let those system files that were removed sort of uh, take place here. But that's basically it. You just you just hit that X button, let the program run, and we'll unroot it. And you can easily just run the program again to reroute it if you need to. So that's it. It's uh, pretty simple. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, be sure to hit a thumbs up if you liked the video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.